Hello everyone, this is Daryl20, and welcome to episode 22 of Daryl20's Stoneblock 3 series. I am officially back from vacation. Uh, some of you may have noticed uh, the last couple episodes the audio has been a little bit wonky. That should be fixed now, let's see. Yep, sounds good to me. Um, so sorry about that. Uh, I had a, a, a little bit of a vacation going on, so I had a big backlog of videos to cover me for the vacation. And apparently the last day of recording, where I did like four or five videos in a row to kind of get ready to go, uh, my audio got messed up and I didn't notice. So apologies for that. But we're back and audio is working and my mob farm is running. And today I would like to get back into working towards Project E uh, and getting my Philosopher's Stone. So the first thing we need to do to get that is just make another star, which should be easy. And it does have EMC. So I want to address a few things in the comments. A few people said we don't need the the standard, you know, mob wither killer, which I guess is a good point because if you know another stars have EMC, why set up a whole set? So maybe maybe we'll skip that because you guys have seen me do something like that pretty often. Um, <clears throat> oh, that's neat. Um, so with the Nether Star having EMC, we can kind of skip that. Other thing I want to address in the comments, everybody keeps saying that you can stack chickens up to 16. Uh, so I did that, and that's now done. So that's cool. Um, you know, obviously we have a stupid amount of resources here and stupid amounts of EMC, but it's probably not a bad idea to go ahead and acknowledge the fact that that is true. You can stack those chickens up, so that's nifty. Uh, so if you need more EMC, that's another way to go about it. But right now, I mean, this chicken's just producing like a pretty silly amount of stuff. Um, so, let's do it. Let's do the Nether Star. Uh, so let's get a uh, Wither Skeleton Skull. Did I ever set up? I did not set up. So let's get, um, cables running over here so that you have access to the thing. That's my controller right there. Okay, so let's get an external storage. That should be doable. And how is my, my netherrack is only 442 and my emeralds are not a lot. So that means I didn't set up an external storage on the other thingy either, which I should probably do. Let's get another one of those guys. Um, clearly we have a lot to work towards <laughs> in today's episode. We'll get a bunch of this. Oh, we're missing redstone. Okay. That's... That's a thing I just realized. We might need either a redstone chicken or to EMC that. We'll figure out what I want to do in a minute. So you should be set up with a priority of like 100. That should be cool. I always just go with like a super high number there. And luckily, I don't have to run my cabling all that far. There we go. And now we should have lots of wither skeleton skulls. Nice. All right, you probably need a drawer controller. Um, now what I could do, and I think now's a good time to demonstrate this functionality, um, but I should be able to make a controller. Everybody keeps saying you can do this, so I think now's a good time to do it. Uh, from functional storage, there we go. I'm curious to see how well the like EMC into um, what you call thing works out? RF or, or uh, RS, because that would be cool. All right, so you are going to link to U3. Cool. And that should be all there is to it. Okay. Cool. So now if we look at emeralds, we should see a lot. Nice. All right. Um, might not be a bad idea to do the same with the coal and the wood uh, and the eggs, maybe. Uh, so from functional storage, we're going to want more drawers. So the coal, I should probably compacting drawer, right? Um, compacting drawer just needs a few pistons. And we can get like 10 of these, no problem. And maybe I want, you know, a few of these guys as well. Missing some wood. Okay, well, that's not really a problem now, is it? Because that's the problem I'm about to solve. Nice. 
because we've got all the diamonds in the world at this point because we hooked up our thing. Cool. All right, so we'll get our compacting drawers. We probably want a few more of those. And we'll plan for the future a little bit here. So some things will get compacting drawers, like coal. Other things will not, like wood and eggs. Okay? And then we'll probably have a redstone guy here shortly. I think I have a redstone chicken. Did I get the redstone chicken? I did. He doesn't have any stats yet, but I can, I can grow him up. All right. So we'll want a bunch of advanced pipe upgrades. And then we should be good to go. So we do that, 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 and that. Perfect. Cool beans. And then you get a pipe upgrade, and you get a pipe upgrade, and you get a pipe upgrade. Nice. And then we just add you to the drawers. Make sure that you're locked. And that's easy peasy. Okay. Now I would like a roost. Or my redstone chicken. And you'll be doing the same thing in a moment here. Let's get some redstone. Um, and you know what I'll do? Is I'm going to make this guy's priority super high too. Um, I probably want him to be a higher priority than whatever I made this. That would be... A hundred, okay. So let's make that a hundred and fifty. Cool. All right. So now let me get my redstone chicken real quick because I know I'm probably going to need lots of redstone. Yes, it's EMCable, but you know what? I feel like doing this. So that's what we're going to do. So back in a minute. All right, the 16 redstone chickens with 10, 10, 10 are better. I think the audio was a little bit off still in that last segment, but I think it's fixed now. I hope that's true. We'll find out. Hooray, redstone for days. All the redstones now. Look at that. Uh, did I forget to link this chest? I may have. I did. Okay. And then we just add this guy here, and we're cool. Nice. All right. So with that said, uh, we should now be good to go with uh, the chickens and all that. Let's get a wither spawn. Um, now, my thoughts are this. Uh, armor I'm pretty good on. I should be able to knock out a wither pretty easily. Do I make this body stone thing? Restores both hunger and hearts. Half a heart shank every 0.25 seconds. Let's make one of these. This sounds cool. Uh, so that means we're just going to need... Uh, some of this, which needs more red matter. Boy, I look forward to being able to make uh, the whatchamacallit. I really do. And then the body stone. Or was that the other one? Yeah, I need the red one now. Cool. And then we can combine these to this. So is it working? Mm. I can't quite tell. It has stored EMC, so that's cool. And it does go in a necklace slot if we so decide that we want to do that. Right now I've got my pyroclast pendant in there, but I could totally throw that in there and that would be fine. Restores both hunger and hearts, half a heart and shank every 0.25 seconds. Do I need to activate it before I put it in there? Mm -hmm. I don't really quite know how this works, but we'll find out. Well, we'll see if I need to eat. That'll be the that'll be the the telling trick for us. Um, let me come back in a sec once my stuff's down a little bit. One of these days, I want a mod that like auto feeds you, and I know it would be super OP. But one of these days, I want a mod that auto feeds you and fills up your saturation all the way. Is that so much? Is that too much to ask? Like, I know I think uh, RF Tools Environmental Controller can do that, but Still, like, if you're going to give me a thing that auto-feeds me, also make it fill my saturation all the way. I'm just saying. It would be OP, but still. Fun. Much better. Okay, now my, my stuff's almost gone, so... 
Let's see what happens. Oh, hello. Oh, well, it, it filled up my saturation all the way once my saturation dipped. So I'll take that. All right, that that's a win, Project D. You've won me over. Uh, it doesn't fill it up until you're below, you know, out of saturation. So it doesn't keep it full all the time. Okay, I'm all right with that. So it'll, it'll whittle its way down. That's fine. I'm cool. No more food. See you later, food. All right, let's get some stars. Uh, so we're going to want Wither Skeleton Skulls times three. And we're going to want some Soul Sand times four. And we're going to do this one time because we're going to get another star, which has EMC. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to fly into my tunnel and I'm going to do it in here somewhere. It shouldn't be too big of a deal. Sure, up here, wherever this is. I don't know why I have a tunnel up here, but I do. And this is where I'm building my thing. So we're going to want a, how about five by five by three? Hey, that's not torches. Okay. Not that, um, you know, torches are going to mean much in a second because the weather's going to break them all, but whatever. Okay, let's get away from him for a sec, because I don't think I put any explosion protection on here. Projectile, unbreaking, fire, regular protection, but no explosive protection. No specific explosive protection. Now remember, he's immune... To what's gonna call it? Projectiles after half health, right? Well, that was cool. <laughs> my uh, my body stone's healing me. That's that's pretty OP. I love it. I love how OP that is. That is bananas level OP. Okay, so now let's dupe up another uh, another stars here. We get many. Yay, another stars. And we'll keep one in here for now until we get our Project E table, because that'll be the, the, the defining moment for this. Um, so now that we've got that covered, uh, and I think my my Repair Talisman is working on my armor too, which is great. Which is just great. I wish the Repair Talisman was a little bit faster. It is kind of slow. It's one durability every second, so it takes like a long time to repair some of this stuff that has high durability. It's fine. It's fine. Not a big deal. So nether stars can go away, which means I should be able to make my Philosopher's Stone now. No problem. Boom. Dun 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 dun! Quests were completed! Speaking of quests, I haven't looked at any of the quests in a while, and I have updated the pack because, like I said, I was on vacation for a little bit. So there have been several updates to the pack since I last recorded. Uh, but literally, like, I'm recording this episode the day before it goes up. So no more backlog, y'all. I mean, that doesn't mean I won't build one up, but, you know, at this moment, no more backlog. Oh, good batteries! I didn't have enough of those. He said, lying and hilariously. Um, cool. Uh, so I made a trash can. We did mom grinding utils. So we did all this stuff. Oh, we're getting some nice stuff. Add-on ranges, building gadgets, cog wheels. Uh, I can put this stuff away for the time being. Cool. Uh, what else do we have quest-wise that we completed? Industrial foregoing. We made some add-ons and a mob crusher. And then Project E, we made the Philosophers, we made the Watch, and we made this guy. Sweet. Ooh, a Neutronium block. Well, that's, isn't that super good? That'll get me a lot of Neutronium nuggets, won't it? That's, a, that's like a really powerful reward, I feel like. I feel like that Neutronium block is an extremely powerful reward. I forgot to do these. There you go, guys. Have fun. Yeah, some of them have two diamond upgrades. I'm okay with that. Uh, yeah, Neutronium Rewards is, like, super powerful because that's a big part of what I need to do to get the Transmutation Tablet. We also need to do the Silverfish Battle. That's going to happen at some point soon, probably. Um, so we've got that covered now. Let's see what else we can do. A Klein Star wouldn't be a bad idea. Um, let's just make, you know... A client star? That should be doable at this point, because it's Mobius fuel and a diamond. Actually, I could have done this earlier. I thought client stars were an Eternalist fuel. And it's four of them to make a Zwei, right? Cool. 
Now, I don't know if I can really charge them. Can I charge them in here? I don't think so. But what I could do is probably charge them inside energy collectors uh, and antimatter relays, for that matter. Antimatter relays are probably the best way to charge a client star before I get to the transmutation tablet. Um, now, we do have dark matter and we do have red matter. So those quests should be done. Cool. Herculean flux storage. I like that. That's a good one. Is that the one that's top tier? I think. No, that's the second. Yeah. Because uh, that is used for gargantuan. Yeah. So, I mean, not great, not terrible, but I'll take it. Uh, let's throw that somewhere. Where is my flux controller? Did I set one of those up? Did I ever do a flux controller? I usually stick it in a corner. Look, I said I had a backlog. I wasn't kidding. Okay, that's cool. I don't even remember where I set up my power. Is this it? I think this is it. Yeah, this is it. This is where all my power gen is. Kind of funny. Um, a little bit funny how much, you know, how little RF gen. Like, we're running our entire series on three coal base generators. Kind of funny. Kind of funny. That's cool. Did I ever do a controller? Flux controller? Did you not know how to make these flux blocks yet? I should teach you that, huh? That's probably a good sign that we didn't set that up yet. There's lots of things we haven't done yet. It's kind of funny. Missing blaze powder. So we could teach you blaze powder, right? Uh, why don't I do that? That's probably why I didn't do this yet, because I didn't have blaze powder. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, so who needs blaze powder? Why don't we just do that, right? I mean, we've got literally unlimited blaze rods. There's no reason to overcomplicate the whole blaze powder thing. Because remember, my, my thing set up so that if my if my blaze rods drop below a certain value, it'll spawn blazes until we get more of them. So it'll keep it above whatever number I set. Okay. Sweet. Now, I'm not going to set up wireless charging just at the moment. Uh, because I've got a ridiculously large amount of storage, 2 billion RF in this battery here. And what will happen is it'll just keep charging my battery and like at the detriment of the rest of my base. So I don't want to charge up anything at this moment. I'm going to let you build up your buffer, let that buffer fill itself back up, and I'll probably turn on wireless charging at some point in the future. But for now, this guy's effectively charging all my stuff in my inventory that I need or care about. So it's whatever. Cool. Uh, let's get... Uh, let's get programmed in here from Project E. Let's get the basic one of these. Oh, you need an energizing dude, don't you? Okay. Okay. So, um, there's going to be a lot of auto crafting with this at some point. Uh, I have to remember how this works, but I'm pretty sure there's like a, a redstone signal or something that happens with it, uh, that I could use to turn things on and off and we could probably automate that a little bit better but for now let's just get a basic one real quick i should be able to get you know multiples of these but let's just do one to get it going so am i right in thinking that if i clicked this do you have a emc value yet you do have an emc value good alchemical chest has an emc value now i guess they added emc to the dusts which is awesome that is actually really awesome and to the amethyst bronze sweet okay do I not have any more dusts? Well, it looks like we're going to have to recraft the alchemical chest and the amethyst bronze, um, which is one gem and one copper. Do we have amethyst around here somewhere? We might have amethyst bronze in the chest still. I may not have used all that I had. We have bronze. Or maybe we don't have it. Didn't I have amethyst at some point? I thought I had amethyst. Yeah, no, that's that's you, isn't it? Uh, 
Is my connection to that thing not working? Uh, it should be. Uh, did I maybe... Is the drawer not connected properly? That's the problem. There you go. There we go. Okay, cool. And two copper to get our ammo response. Let me make the rest of this off camera because you guys already saw me make one of these. But once it has EMC, we'll be in good shape. All right, so I've got the alchemical chest. I also added a few of the other components to it into the, the thing to remember. That is cool. And while I'm at it, can I make another energy condenser then? I should be able to. Yeah, because you have EMC now. Awesome. Awesome. So let's do that. Let me let me get one of those so that we have more energy condensers, because having multiple energy condensers would be pretty cool. Uh, so I just need a dark matter block, a red matter block, the dirt chest, and the crystal chest. Okay. Okay, so it should be one, two, three, four, and then the alchemical chest, which we've already added to the lookup. I don't need seven of them in there. Uh, isn't that it? Did I do that wrong? Crystal chest, dirt chest, red matter, alchemical. Oh, it needs 5 million FE. Are you out of power? Is that the problem? You might be. You're probably filling up, aren't you? Yeah, you know what we should do is remove this and have you be... How about here? Now we're cooking. Nice. Back in a minute. All right. So now that I have an energy condenser, I should be able to make many of them. Ha <laughs> ha That's cool. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Now, if I wanted to upgrade you, uh, you could be energized into a higher tier version of that. And you'll have EMC on you at the end of the day. So maybe I should make an energy condenser mark too. They are cooler. They are far cooler, the, the Mark IIs. Though I feel like the Mark I is actually serving my purpose for what I need it to do right now, which is be an EMC duper, right? If I made a Mark II, it would make things way faster than I need it to, and I don't think I want that. I don't think that's what I want to do. So let's hold off on this right now um, and circle back to it at some point, right? We don't need it right this minute. But with that said, I made my Klein Star, which is cool. Ooh, I got a Sigil of the Green Grove, which is nice, but not really useful until I get into Blood Magic, which I think I have to do, because I'm pretty sure like some of the endgame quests require things from many different mods. Um, now, the, alchem the alchemy table can convert items to other items using EMC provided by energy collectors. So what can you actually make? Oh, lots of things, actually. It's interesting. Huh. That's kind of cool. I'm not sure there's anything I need to make one of these for, but I'll, I'll definitely consider it. And when the time comes, you know, we'll look into it. But for now, I don't see anything in here that I specifically feel like I need. But maybe there will be something at some point. I don't know. Um, let's get the energy collectors, though. So if I want a collector... Now, these also have EMC, so I feel like automating this crafting isn't super necessary. Uh, but we're going to need a block of diamonds, some alchemical chests. Yeah, I can get all this stuff. Now, uh, let's see. If I were to do this and this. Perfect. Is that everything for the Mark II collector? It is. And then for you, I should be able to click this. And then for you, I should be able to click this. That's kind of cool. That's one way to do it, right? So now, alchemical chest, we don't need the dark matter yet. Was that it? One glowstone? Two glowstones. Now cooking? Nice. Okay. Now, is there any need to store or, or remember how to make one of these? 
I don't think so. I think the only real purpose... It could go into making basic energy collectors. Um, I guess I guess I'll store it. Let's do this. How about an iron to gold chest real quick? And a gold to diamond real quick. Right, so now I've got plenty of space here. What I'll do is I will dupe a couple of them just to have an extra. And then I can do you, you, and that should be cool. And then we'll do the same over here. Get just a couple extras. And then it's a matter of these guys to make a Mark III. Make a couple extras. And then we're good. Cool. All right. So now with that set, uh, let's do the same thing for antimatter relays. Right? So we just do this. With a furnace. Okay. And then the Mark II needs more dark matter. Okay. And then the Mark III needs red matter. So it's kind of the same pattern. Did I get a Watch of Flowing Time as a quest reward? Is that what happened? Why do I have two of them all of a sudden? Mm -hmm. Actually, I have three of them all of a sudden. Do these have EMC? They do not, which is a bummer. But yeah, why did I get two of them? I have to look at the footage now and see where those came from. Was that a quest reward? Yep, it was a quest reward. Nice. Okay, cool. Uh, so antimatter relay crafting time. So I need the furnace, the diamond, the glass, and the two obsidian. Oh, and the chest, the alchemical chest, don't forget that. There we go. Dupe it up. Store an extra. And then you, four, and dark matter. Dupe it up. We. All right. So now we've got the different types of uh, antimatter relays and energy collectors and all that stuff. If we wanted to, we could make an EMC flower at this point. But do we really feel like it's necessary with the emerald chicken thing that I got going on? Like a low tier EMC guy, not necessary. Once we get to the higher tier stuff and like the colored, that might be meaningful. But at this point, I feel like it's not super necessary. Um, that said, uh, we could probably do something i don't think i need this path anymore so i'm just going to cover you up um and then what i could do because you should run yes so you do your emcing thing you're going to get a bonus of emc remember uh and then we could do something like this and i could probably steal one more energy collector just to make it kind of cool. Technically, I can put one underneath, too. And then you should be getting lots of EMC, right? And that can charge up my climb star. But if I wanted to, I could easily just, you know, grab a stack of emeralds, and that would charge it a lot faster, right? See how much faster that is? See how much cooler that is? Like, I feel like that's way cooler. And then there's my Mobius. Which, by the way, Mobius, I can upgrade into Eternalist Fuel now. Now that I have access to the Philosopher's Stone. Good?
So I'm just upgrading my client stars to higher tiers, I guess. Um, I think three of these would be cool. Yeah, that looks pretty good. There's, well, technically I only needed four of those, but that's okay. Client star sphere, nice. Now that guy can again eventually become an Omega, which can eventually upgrade. Well, actually that's used for the gem stuff. Okay, cool. Eh, gem armor might be neat. Um, okay, so let's get more emeralds. Let's get four of these. All right, now we're now we're talking. We're actually using a lot of EMC. Cool. And then I can upgrade that to an Omega, which I'd like a copy of. So one's going to go in here for usage later, and one's going to go to me for, uh, you know, stuff and things. Cool. Okay. So now if I put you here and I put you here, will you drain? Nice. You're a little bit slow, though. Luckily, I can help with that. So this is the EMC that's stored in the relay. And that's going into the Omega. Sweet. Yeah, it is a little bit slow, isn't it? I'm assuming the, 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 the upgraded ones might be faster. Not the end of the world, though. All right, so huge progress on Project E today, but I think it's time to wrap up the episode. So let's wrap up here, and next time we're going to look into, now that we've got some of the basics in, um, how hard would it be to get a transmutation tablet at this point? So we definitely have to do the silverfish hearts. Then we have to get neutronium nuggets, which we did get the quest reward for, but I suspect we're going to need to set up neutronium farming anyway, so we should probably get the automation going for that. We're going to want dark matter. We're going to want nitro crystals, which do not have... EMC. Uh, Crystal Matrixes do. Netherite upgrades do. A lot of this stuff does have an EMC value, right? Um, but because the Nitro Crystals don't, the Transmutation Tablet does, though. I guess that's a hard-coded EMC value. So once we get one, we'll be able to get more. So that's kind of good news. Um, <clears throat> so let's, let's do this. Let's come back next episode, look into what it would take to fight that silverfish boss and then go from there for now adult 20 sign off hope you guys enjoyed the episode you know what to do take it easy